Tonight, a quick look at my Supermicro Super Server test environment. This is destined to become a VMware ESXi vSAN demo for VMworld at the end of the month. So I'm a bit pressed for time, but I want to establish baselines that I'm good with the firmware on the IPMI and the BIOS level on my systems. Now, this is Windows Server 2016 technical preview 5. And all Windows updates have been applied, as you can see. Now, before I go much further with these systems, I want to show you around just a little bit in Device Manager. So these were all installed using virtual media, mounting the ISO on all four of these through IKVM and installing Technical Preview, then running Windows Update and rebooting a second time. It's that simple. So if we go to Device Manager and all the machines, this is actually my first time doing this. I want to have a look at how things look. All right, so naturally, well, not really naturally, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping Windows Server 2016 would actually have the 10 gig driver. So that's the only yellow bang showing. But the nice thing is this is big progress since a year ago when the ZND first came out. Uh, you would have X's through this section, the system devices section, uh, you know, yellow bangs, excuse me. So. Things have come a long way. Now, which animal among these four systems is different than the rest? They don't look very different, but the one on the bottom right, the E300, that is significantly different that it has a different BIOS level uh, because it's a um, Flex ATX instead of Mini ITX. So the motherboard's a bit different in two PCI slots and so forth. So you would expect it to show differently here. But let me just continue with the comparison to see if there are any other significant difference that, any significance differences that jump out and and yes we're seeing this is the screens enumerated a little differently and uh there's just more stuff um actually less stuff on this flex atx e300 all right i think we're ready to move on um well i'll just get to the bottom of the list here scroll all the way down wouldn't want you to miss anything there we go there's all the devices now a bit of a shortcut whoops, would be to clone. And in the interest of time, because of the tweaks and the benchmark utilities and so forth, I probably will do that. I'm not particularly worried that it'll taint the results. I'm most worried about getting my demo uh, VMware ready. So really, Windows is serving as a way to quickly benchmark stuff, uh, make sure things seem healthy, um, run utilities, like maybe the Micron SSD update utility, uh, they could be mounted off an ISO as well. But either way, um, having a look at the systems from Windows can be a bit easier uh, as far as various utilities to show, you know, the drive health and the firmware level on the Micron drives and, and so forth and so on. I also don't actually have NVMe drives yet, so I'm still working off 2.5 inch drives. So let me uh, show you some more stuff here. Let's see what system firmware looks like. What else might look different between the systems? Well, I already mentioned that disk drive should look identical. But focusing on what might be different, well, Ethernet controller, it's fiber in the bottom right versus 10 gig for the rest. But I don't think it's going to look any different here. That's a physical thing, not a software thing. And this will help show you whether that's the case or not. Okay, so it does appear it's going to look like the same exact hardware, same driver install and all that. This is good. Mm, no, AD, AC, they're not the same. I don't know, until I put the 10 gig driver, not really going to know on that count. Uh, what else do I want to show you here um, before I uh, move along? Processors, there, that should be the fun part. Cool. All right, so we're going to have to scroll down to uh, get the processors all showing. And obviously now we're going to see the differences in the system showing up more so. I think I'll do a MS config as well. OK, there you have it. Obviously, differing numbers of processor cores. 
How about MS config? Uh, okay. Sorry, I meant MS info 32. There we go. Let's run that on all of them. So we're having another look uh, where we can actually see the systems and the names and all that good stuff confirmed. Well, system model <laughs> looks a little generic on the new one. So it looks like uh, the Supermicro may have just missed filling in that field if putting in the model on the machine. Um, let's have a look at gigahertz. Bias level. There we go. 10A. I already mentioned it's a different bias than the rest. It doesn't share the same code base. And you can see the date on the bias. So that's about it. Um, just wanted to show you a quick overview before I get started. And again, because I have several utilities to install, I'm inclined to shortcut things a little bit with a simple clone instead of uh, straight up configuring each machine identically. Partly because this is all, this is beta, right? Um, I might have time to stick Windows 10 in there briefly as well. Uh, doesn't really matter. The benchmarks are highly likely to be very similar. And uh, again, not so much benchmarks, more diagnostics and making sure things are healthy. I will run a couple uh, quick benchmarks. I'll also do some suggested bias tweaks that might get me a little better performance under Windows and might also get better performance under ESXi. But a test matrix for this many machines, you know, it gets difficult. Um, my primary focus is testing Wattburn with Prime95 running on all these and the fans cracked to max to see how high the decibel output is on all three of these. So comparative numbers are most interesting here to me. Not so much the absolute numbers that each machine gets. You know, if I'm getting 90% of what the benchmark would be if, with every bias tweak in the world, you know, so be it. Uh, again, the focus is more the comparison between them. And that's what people are eager to learn about is the, how loud these are relative to one another. And, you know, naturally how many watts they burn. And then finally, yeah, okay, they'd like to know how benchmarks do. Again, with which machine pitted against, um, you know, each other. So that's about it for this quick look at the Supermicro Super Server overview. Uh, stay tuned also for a quick look at the latest Skull Trail i7 Nook as well. Thanks for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.